Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 2.7.9 at Eagle Dynamics FA18C Hornet Module. Welcome to Tutorial 2 Carrier Takeoff. This tutorial uh, follows on directly after the previous one, Tutorial 1, Carrier Startup. The aircraft is in the same state it was when I completed that startup in the previous video. So uh, that means that we're sitting here on the deck fully started up and aligned with the wheel chocks in. So before taxi, we're going to have to contact the ground crew and ask them to remove those wheel chocks. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now removed. And there we go. Wheel chocks are now removed. Uh, I'm going to test that my toe brakes are moving in the correct direction. They are. We're now going to conduct the before taxi checklist. My launch bar is retracted. My flaps are in automatic. Anti-skid is off for carrier operations. Hook bypass is in carrier. That's good. We're ready to move. Um, make sure that your nose wheel steering is on. And with the anti-skid off, if you tap your nose wheel steering button, you'll end up in nose wheel steering high gain, which is what we want when we're on the carrier. Yeah, I'm going to accept that master caution there uh, and we want to look over towards catapult number two that's the one on the left and we want to make sure that we have uh, a taxi director who's this yellow shirted chap here so i'm going to begin taxi and i'm going to take instructions from him so we're going to disengage the parking brake and then we want to use just the minimum amount of thrust to get the aircraft moving on the deck here oh there we go just enough to get moving and I want to move it around to the left a bit and then make quite a tight turn round to the right. Difficult to judge when I don't have head tracking, but uh, hopefully we can manage this. Oh, there we go. Right. He's already given me an instruction. There we go. He wants me to come to the right. Having his arms out like that, by the way, was just letting us know that uh, he was ready for us. So he wants us to come right. He wants us to come forward, come right. Come forward, come right, come forward. I'm going to line up a bit better now. Here we go. Come forward and stop. Those fists, those closed fists, means he wants us to stop here. These chaps are going to take a look either side. He's now telling us to uh, unfold the wings. So we do that by looking down here at this switch here. I'm going to right click it into hold and then right click again into spread. I'm going to observe that my wings are unfolding and these little chappies are checking my wings and flight surfaces for me. Okay, fully unfolded. I can look at my master cautions and it still says wing unlocked. That's okay. I just put my mouse over the switch and I scroll wheel up to push it in. And that will now lock the wings. That warning has now gone and wings are fully unfolded. Chappie is now giving me the the indication to uh, lower my launch bar so I simply click the launch bar switch down and we'll get a light L bar on the left hand side of the cockpit there he's going to move to the side and then he's probably going to tell us to advance yep yep he wants us to advance so I throttle up just a little bit and I come forwards we're going to hit the shuttlecock I need a bit more throttle to get over the top of the shuttlecock Actually, even more than that, clunk, and then power down. And he's telling us to apply the brakes again. So I've throttled back to nothing. Okay, we can now see steam. Uh, that means this, this catapult is powered up. He's telling us to raise the launch bar. So we click raise, and that will lock us into position. He's now, oops, he's now telling us to... Uh, run up. I'm not going to do that yet because we're going to do a little inspection. So if I look at the outside of the aircraft here, I can see I'm connected up to the launch bar. Wings are unfolded, but I don't have my flaps. So we're going to do a full control wipe, make sure all control surfaces look normal. And if you're just doing this from inside the cockpit, you would actually look at the FCS page. So you can see leading edge flaps, trailing edge flaps, ailerons and rudders. So if I move all of my flight surfaces, sorry, and the sta stabilizers, uh, I can see those numbers moving. So before takeoff, 
I'm going to want to have flaps at half. That's good. Trim, I'm going to want to set my trim, which is displayed here in the checklist page, to 16 degrees. Look at the manual for the, the trim that you need for your takeoff weight. Um, I'm also going to want to arm my seat at this stage. And that should be everything. I now don't have any warnings. Everything looks perfectly normal. So he's telling me to spool up. I'm going to apply full throttle and full afterburner. Okay, we've got it. It's then left control, left shift and S to salute him. They're going to do final checks. And then I'm going to be gone. And we're off. I'm not touching the stick. The aircraft will automatically give me a good angle. Positive rate, I take control, gear up, come out a burner, and set flaps to automatic. I'm aiming for about 20 degrees left of carrier. That's my clearing turn. And I'm aiming for about 300 knots and 500 feet. I'm going to maintain that until I'm seven miles from the carrier. Uh, and actually, how am I going to tell that I'm seven miles from the carrier? Well, I'm going to bring up the HSI and I'm going to turn on TACAN. And now I've got a range indication. I maybe should have done that before the launch. So we're going to be maintaining about 300 knots, 500 feet. Until seven miles. This is the Marianis map, by the way, if you're wondering where I am today. So that all happened very quick. Gear is up, flaps are in automatic, and uh, the FCS is now managing my trim, so all of that is now automatic. So, looking for seven miles. Okay, seven miles we have, throttling up and climbing. Gonna go for 20 degrees climb. And as we pass 3000 feet, we're going to switch the altimeter back into barometric. And that's the aircraft fully cleaned up at this stage. We would now proceed to our first waypoint and um, get ourselves set up for the cruise to wherever it is we're going. So it all happens very fast, as you can see. Uh, and uh, having the checklist page up is always really good. <laughs> it means that you don't miss anything. I almost missed the, uh, the seat arm. That's something that happens from time to time. The cool thing is when you throttle up, the aircraft actually does a couple of checks itself. Um, so you'll see that I got a master caution when I was throttling up to get over the, uh, the cock there, the, the launch kind of hump thing. Um, and it was warning me that my takeoff trim wasn't set and that my uh, seat was not armed. So it was cool that I got those warnings. So I hope you all found that useful. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and comment, and I'll see you all next time.